Rig Inspection Course Chapter 01 Drilling Equipment One Draw Works Introduction Figure 1 Overall Picture of the Layout of the Drill Floor, Derrick Traveling Block and Crown Block Figure 2 Layout with the Draw Works Components The Draw Works is one of the most important items on the entire rig. The Draw Works is, together with the Mud Pumps and the Bob, the most costly component of the rig. The correct operation of the draw works components is often not fully understood by the rig crews. We will explain the main operational issues in this introduction. Figure 3 The wear spots of the drill line. We find the following wear on the draw works fast line wear, fleet angle side wear, sheave wear, drum wear, line wear. Figure 4 Vibration wear on the drill line. Whip and vibration can cause wire fatigue due to the very small movement between the wires and the stands of the drill line. See Figure 4 for the wire specifications. When the lines are banging together in the derrick this can cause abrasive wear. Vibration may also cause lateral movement of the sheaves, thus causing abrasive wear. Figure 5 Wire Rope Unwrapped, showing its different components. For example, the drill line in use is 1 inch by 5000, 6 by 19 SPRF IPS IWRC. What does that mean? 1 inch equals diameter of the line, in inches 5000 equals length of the line, in feet 6 equals amount of strands per line, 19 equals amount of wires per strand, S equals seal pattern, PRF equals preformed strands, RRL equals right regular, lay IPS equals improved plow seal, IWRC equals independent wire rope core. Figure 6 Sheaves do not all move at the same speed. The maximum recommended drum speed is approximately 4,000 feet per minute. The traveling block is lowered in approximately 12 seconds for one stand, 93 feet, when the rig is using a six-line system. If the line is paid off the draw works drum, the speed will be 6 by 93 feet equals 558 feet in just 12 seconds. Consequently, the drum speed will be 558x 12 to 60 equals 2,790 feet per minute. If the line is later strung to 8 lines, the drum speed per stand at 12 seconds becomes 93 by 8 lines equals 744, therefore 744x 60 to 12 equals 3,720 feet per minute. Drum speed in feet per minute. Question. There are six sheaves reeved on the crown block. How many lines are strung? Answer. Twelve lines. Question. What is the mechanical advantage rate of this setup? Answer. Twelve to one question. When the load on the block is 400,000 pounds, what is the load on the fast line? Answer, 33,333 pounds, ignoring the friction, question, when the load is lifted 100 feet into the derrick. How much wire is taken from the draw works drum? Answer, 1,200 feet, figure 7, the maximum number of lines, strung, depends on the number of sheaves in the crown and traveling block. Figure 8 Single sheave The single sheave means there is no mechanical advantage. The effort it takes to pull the load is equal to the weight of the load itself. Figure 9 More than one sheave. The mechanical advantage is equal to the number of lines connected to the two pulleys. The advantage of the two pulleys means that we only have to pull half the load to lift it entirely. Figure 10 The draw works fleet angle and the table showing how to calculate the fleet angle. 
The fast line should line up with the center of the drawwork's drum. The angle of the wire in relation to the center line is called the fleet angle. An excessively large fleet angle will cause wear on the side of the drill line. Question. How do we calculate the fleet angle? See the right-hand picture of figure 10? Let's assume that the distance B equals 150 feet and distance A equals 3 feet. This means that the ratio between A and B is A. B equals 3 to 150 equals 0 0.02. As this is closest to 0.022, it means a fleet angle of 1.5 degrees. The maximum fleet angle for smooth drums is 1.5 degrees. The maximum fleet angle for groove drums is 2.0 degrees. The mathematical calculation for the fleet angle is tan W equals A, B. Sheave wear The main causes of sheave wear are as follows. Extremely heavy loads B. Very quick stopping or starting of the draw work C. Vibrations and whipping D. Incorrect fleet angle E. Differences in the rope and sheave diameters F. Worn sheave bearings. Causes A. B and C are due to the incorrect operation standards. Causes D. E and F are due to the incorrect design and maintenance standards. An excessive fleet angle will create abrasive wear to both the sheave and the drill line, resulting in the excessive and uneven wear of the groove radius. We will discuss how to measure the sheaves in the chapter on the crown block. Figure 11 Sheave Cluster of the Crown Block Drum wear figure 12 draw works without a drill line installed. Clearly visible are the Liebus grooves. Figure 13 the Liebus groove with the drill line installed in the recommended way. Inspection criteria for the drum a. Inspect the condition and the adjustment of the kickback rollers. B. Check the wear pads at the side of the drum. C. Check the Liebus groove with a gauge. Line wear Line wear cannot be eliminated, it can only be monitored and controlled. A good way to manage line wear is using a proven tone mile program. The most likely causes of line wear are the following. Excessive weight B. Raising and lowering too fast C. Stopping too quickly D. Poor spooling on the drum E. Contamination by extreme degreases like acid or heavy brine. Figure 14 Good spooling shows the outer layer resting in the grooves of the lower layer. Figure 15 Poor spooling caused by a slack line can leave a gap that the next wrap falls into. This could be covered by the same wrap, thus causing another crossover point. Figure 16 A worn drill line left on the drum after a slip and cut operation may have a smaller diameter, the dark color in the drawing. A newer drill line laid over the top may not fit the grooves, thus causing uneven spooling. Cutting the line allows worn sections to be removed from the system. Simply slipping is not recommended, as it does not move the crossover points on the drum. As the drill line diameter reduces with wear, any worn drill line, i.e. with a smaller diameter, kept on the drum may result in spooling problems and further damage. Summary The most likely effects of wear are the following. 1. Crossover and pickup points are most critical. 2. The fast line speed, whip, vibration needs to be controlled. 3. The need to carry out a rig up to verify the fleet angle is correct. 4. Increase maintenance to ensure that the sheave and drum grooves are in good condition. 5. Increased checks on the drill line diameter. 6. Increases in the cut and slip program to move the critical wear points. Proper procedures and maintenance routines. A proper care will extend the life of the drill line. B. Prevent contact with sharp objects. C. Keep the drill line clean from mud.
sand and corrosive chemicals. D. Do not use the drill line near an arc welding circuit. E. Protect the drill line when welding is carried out in the vicinity. F. Do not clean the drill line with solvents. G. Lubricate as necessary. The conventional draw works, see figure 17, was constructed with the following components. A low and a high clutch, two brake bands connected with an equalizing bar, a coupling at the end to be connected to the eddy current brake, two or three 1000 horsepower DC motors driving the draw works, two cat heads to be used with the rig tongs. Modern draw works figure 18 the Novads 10 draw works modern draw works are not DC driven but AC driven and have disc brakes installed The following schematic shows one of the new draw works designs by Nov The Novads 10 draw works description the Nov ds 10 d automated draw works system ADS is used for hoisting the traveling equipment of a drilling rig to remove and insert tubulars into the well bore. The ADS is a gear driven draw works with VFD controlled AC motors and multi plate friction brakes. Optional resistive regenerative braking via the main motors can be applied to augment the friction brakes. The draw works components are mounted on a unitized skid. The driller, at an operator control station, uses a dedicated joystick and switches in order to remotely operate the ads through a VARCO integrated control instrument system VICIS. Wire rope drum The wire rope drum is supported by two bearing carriers mounted to a structural steel skid. The drum is fitted with lever grooving for customer specified wire. A crown saver toggle valve is located above the drum. The valve is located where it can be activated by the wire rope, just short of the point at which a crown collision would occur. When the valve is activated, it sends a signal to a crown saver pressure switch that disengages the clutches and activates the brakes and stops the drum rotating. Gearboxes Dry Sump The 1500 horsepower, single speed, double reduction gearboxes transfer power between the AC motors and the wire rope drum. Mounted on the clutch shaft is a pneumatically released spring operated multi disc clutch that transmits torque between the first and second gear reduction. The clutch must be engaged for velocity control by the motors during hoisting and lowering. Lubricating oil for the gears and bearings is supplied by an external electrical pump system with a frame-mounted reservoir. Gearboxes A wet sump The wet sump gearbox is similar to the dry sump gearbox, apart from the fact that the lubricating oil for the gears is supplied by the sump inside the gearbox. Lubricating oil for the bearings is supplied by an external lube system. Clutch The clutch provides the opportunity to disengage the drive motors from the drum shaft. It is used in ESD situations to reduce the motor inertia that the plate disc brakes must retard. It is also used when electrical repairs or maintenance tasks are being performed, and when it is necessary to tune the VFDs by running motors or the change of motors. AC motors the ADS uses 1150 horsepower continuous rating variable speed AC motors to drive the wire rope drum through the gearboxes the motors are coupled to the gearboxes with double spherical gear drive couplings the wide range of motor speed allows the ADS to achieve a broad range of hoisting speeds the use of multiple motors increases the hoisting capability Motor blowers The motor blowers provide open loop, forced air cooling to the AC motors. Friction brakes The brake is a combined spring, air operated, multi plate disc brake. It applies braking to the drum during operations, as well as parking braking. 
Two braking methods are available to the operator. Dynamic braking using the friction brakes and regenerative braking through the AC motors. One brake is mounted at each end of the drum shaft. The rotating brake discs are spline coupled to the drum shaft, and the brake housing is attached to the skid. Each brake has three water-cooled discs for dynamic braking control and a single air-cooled brake disc for extra static parking and emergency stopping capacity. Rotary encoders Rotary encoders provide speed and block position information. Encoders are directly coupled to each motor and coupled to the clutch shaft by means of a drive belt. Sensing and feedback devices Sensing devices are used to monitor the equipment functions. Sensor device outputs are sent to the control system, where they are processed to provide feedback for closed-loop control and to display status information to the driller. Several types of sensing devices are used. ADS control system The ADS control system processes all the data from the operator controls to the draw works and all the feedback from the draw works to the operator. The process data is used to control all the draw works functions and to inform the operator of the draw works operations and status. The control system also provides the following safety features. Drill line protection, collision protection, equipment protection, optional desert kit and optional desert kit includes sand filters on the blowers and 55C ambient temperature rated ancillary motors, blower motors and lubricating oil pump motor and main AC motors. Figure 19 Nova ADS-1 OD water cool disc brakes. Figure 21 Details of the Disc Brake Assembly Figure 22 Nova DS1 ODT Gearbox Figure 23 Clear Indications on Computer Screens The presently selected format is Autodrill Figure 24 Actual information on the draw works components from the DWCS system. Figure 25 Draw works status of the AC motors and encoders. Draw work checklist record the date of the last draw works overhaul API RP7L section 4.2. Check the NDT inspection reports for the brake bands, linkage and equalizer bar. Review where reports for the brake bands, brake pads and brake rims, IADC drilling manual, chapter F. Check for where on the brake linkage, look for instances of kicking brakes. Test the wear on the drill line, lever groove wear. Ensure that at least 12 wraps are on the brake drum, with the traveling block in the lowest position. Check the drill line clamp on the dead end of the wire behind the brake rim flange. Is there enough spare drill line for the contract? Verify the kickback roll setting, 1 8 to 1 quarter inch play. Carry out a cat head pull test. Minimum make up £7,000 and break out cat head £14,000, kg and kg respectively. Confirm the make up chain condition, max, link wear 10%. Check the breakout line condition. Ensure the lube oil pressure is within the OEM required range 20 to 50 psi in 1.5 to 3.5 bars for national draw works. Review the oil samples analysis reports. Check that the oil sprayer nozzles are not blocked. Check if silicone sealant is being used as gasket material on the covers. Review inspections records of the chain stretch.
Maximum allowed stretch 3% as measured over 5 links. API Spec 7F Section A3.5 Check for wear on the sprockets. API Spec 7F Sections A3.4 and A3.5 Carry out a function and test of the crown o -matic or equivalent system. Check the disc brakes for wear and cracks. Check the OEM manual for wear rates. Check over the disc brake hydraulic system. Check the OEM manual for the correct operating pressures. Verify the condition of the brake pads on the emergency brake, parking brake and main brake. Confirm that any DC motors used inside the hazardous area are fitted with spark arresters and X space heaters. Confirm that the electric cables and junction boxes have an X rating, API RP 14 F section 12.1.2. Ensure there is sufficient cooling water capacity for the brake band and eddy current brake 150 US gallons per minute equals 570 liters per minute when using a Baylor 7838 unit. Ensure there is sufficient cooling water for the disc brakes, i.e. 195 gallons per minute equals 740 liters per minute. Figure 26 Critical Load Path Figure 27 Typical Draw Works with Band Brakes Thank you. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.